Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 10 of Forgecraft. I am today playing with, as usual, Mr. Soren. What's up, buddy? Hello! I have friends! Did you, yeah, you have move, moosh rooms. What's up, moosh rooms? <laughs> I have... They're all moving. Why, 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 oh why? Oh my, hello. Why do you have uh, moosh rooms? So, there's a mod called Animania, which you've seen before with the hamster. Yes. Uh, that has some interesting bugs currently. Oh? Milking a cow is not really tedious. It's actually more involved. So you have to give it water and give it wheat every time you want a milk bucket. The problem oh. is when you want to milk the cow, it may eat the iron bucket, which has a very abnormal diet. It's actually worse than mine. I mean, but that's debatable. But you may not get that but... bucket back. Okay. And if you do get and manage to get a milk bucket, it's not a vanilla one, uh, but instead a Animania one, and you can craft it into normal milk, which also gives you an extra bucket. Nice. So there's a few things with the mod that was like, okay, I, I can't deal with this. It eats the bucket. There's no reliable way to get it. So I went out and found mushrooms. We made it's a like spawner mm -hmm. so we can have I see. Lots of mushrooms. I see that you made a mushroom spawner for no reason. And you put yes. 20 overclocker speed upgrades in there, so that's... Well, you say no reason, but they despawn after a minute. If they're spawned by that, they despawn. Unless right. you, you know, breed them and the child is no longer cursed. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, and the parents may despawn and then new parents will arrive and you have no cooldown for breeding. So if you really want to just kill massive amounts of mushrooms for no reason. <laughs> you have a very twisted way of going about doing things. See? He's fun. Okay, then. It's okay. But we, for that, I needed milk. I'm turning off your mushroom spawner. So you needed milk. What for? That's a good idea. That's, that's a oh good idea. My. But we have, we have a mushroom for things and such. It's because episode 10 and through. we have a rainbow generator. Yes, but you might want to elaborate why. <laughs> Yeah, why do we have a rainbow generator? Uh, you were gone for more than two days, three days of streaming, so <laughs> I needed power, and Colnello was not doing it. Our furnace gym didn't keep up after a while, so I needed a lot of more power. Interesting. But when you left, we had all the resources to make this. Okay. So we only needed to go to Nether and get Wither spawn or Wither. Skeletons make withers, get three nether stars for that one in the corner. Um, our mission now is to make all these automated. And by automated, it's resource gathering. Okay. And once we get the resources, we just put them in the chest below the uh, controller. Oh my. Where'd you get all these and enchanted it... books from just killing mobs or? No, I was actually trying to get silk touch for these. Ah, gotcha. That's cool. I got it. So, but nice. uh, a mod spawner will work with this too. Okay. DC enchanted items. Right, right. We actually and found. I remember the enchanted the, last... the enchanted spawner, or uh, yeah, it, it usually lasts a while. Yeah, like your enchanted book here, lasts six minutes. Yeah. So uh, it's a, it's not so quite as long as that one. This one at ten minutes, but. Right. However, if you get Bane of the Arthropods five, it's actually useful because it's like twenty minutes. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Somebody found a way to make Bane of Arthropods a useful thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. We're talking about useful. Vanilla needs a giant spider mob. Yeah. Just a boss mob. Right? Like, it's finally it's finally useful, Bane of Arthropods. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, good deal. So, yeah. The, so that's the cool. generator's in the back. Stay yep. away from when it's running. The rainbow generator? The TNC one, one explodes. The Nether Star one obviously gives you Wither. Halitosis spawns Intermites, so it's not as bad. But the Death Generator gives you a debuff. They call, I think it's called Death, but after a minute it will just straight out kill you. Oh. So you need to drink milk quickly. I see. So it says like the Reaper of Death or something coming near me. I haven't seen it in a while, but it gives you a message in chat and then gives you a debuff. Nice. Look who we have a cow nearby. Yeah, meow meow, I'm a cow. <laughs> the poor e cow. Bounty? It's a poor cow, I know. He'll get a better house later. This is all like a temporary so make it all working and then 
move it to a better location. <sighs> okay, buddy, if you say so. <laughs> but this should work reasonably. So do we have a refined storage system yet? Because I don't know where all our stuff is. Yeah, it's next to a tree farm. I wanted to hook it up so I have access to wood for now. Ah, we do, we do. Okay, cool. So this is your refined storage system. Neat. So all of our resources, I presume, are in here. So I have a question. You have a question. I, I have I have a, a, a query. Okay. I may have um, the uh, buildings. So you built this giant, beautiful house. I understand the refined storage is outside the building. I know. The Everything is outside the building. Outside. We're fine. Storage is out here. Are outside the building. I mean, the power gen so system's out there. Inside. What? Yeah, so refined storage is the thing that's going to go inside. The generators are not going inside because of the death gen. Okay, fair enough. The death gen, I understand. It being far away. Yeah, from the, base. the right fine storage is. <laughs> it just seems I like it seems like wood. everything you've built over the last few episodes has been outside this beautiful building <laughs> that you made, and like the only thing that's in there is like this this water <laughs> hole that like when you walk into this room, you fall into unless you have play. I added cloches. <laughs> right. And like this room with the sloppy lasers that are sloppy from me, but still they're sloppy. <laughs> and then like this room that has like an enchantment table in the middle of it for some unknown reason. So I'm not in reason, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's, it's like, fine. it's, it's, it's smack okay. dab in the middle of the room. Like I usually put stuff on the <laughs> edges of the rooms because, like, you usually, like, walk through the room and stuff on the edges. Like, that's the way I usually make stuff, but that's cool. <laughs> I, I just... This is, this is the Legos in the middle of the floor. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm just curious a <laughs> no, little I bit about your... That. Like, you always critique my design decisions and, like, <laughs> uh, you know, but okay, I'll let, I'll let this slide. No, no, it, yeah, it's fine. It's mine. I didn't say I'm perfect. I just need to move this inside. So I'm, trying. <laughs> just, I'm trying to... One day. You know, I don't know. Uh, all right, <laughs> cool. So um, seeing as, you know, my playtime has been far more limited than yours because obviously you stream for several hours a day and I record like every other day for half an hour. Uh, you're pretty much yeah. the boss uh, of this space and I will be your lackey. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I hate it too. That's safe. So you've got power cells. This is your wireless power transfer thing. Because I think RF tools power cells, if you link them, right? Yeah, yeah they so they're all linked all together. Link together right? uh, there was a world builder in the middle of this so we could get, oddly enough, that moosh room that you saw. There you go. Ah, got you. So I guess you were looking for uh, a biome, the moosh room biome. We, yeah, we found the biome in the overworld. They just didn't spawn unless it's a new biome. Like, you had to, they had to spawn initially. Oh, they don't continue to spawn. Right, so gotcha. I had to go find a new mushroom biome. So we just made a world. That makes sense. Finding one mushroom biome is hard enough. <laughs> yeah, we, we find that one just when looking for people's bases. So we were fortunate on that one. Nice. So we should have a decent amount of red coal here. I'm gonna go, what's our red coal currently at? 485% boost. That's not bad. Considering how much no. grid power we have. We have 388 grid power, that's not bad at all. And we did kill an ender dragon and did not get back an egg, so. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Well, yeah, I, I, I think vanilla ender dragons only ever drop the egg once. Is that accurate? Correct. Correct. Cool. And I didn't know if we had a mod at all that had that tweet. Right. But we I don't know. Uh, Draconic evolution, I know, changes that, but I don't know if Draconic evolution has been updated to 111 yet. I don't think so. All right. So then, the um, seeing as I'm your lackey. Uh, what, uh, what's my job, sir? So you have any number of generators. I'm gonna sleep. You pick one of these generators to, like, get resources for. Okay. That's not food, ender pearls, or redstone. So, food, ender pearls, and redstone are the ones that those are, are all not kind of handled. Uh, those are the ones that, like, we have, but we just don't have routed into that chest right now. Okay. But, so everything else we don't have? Well, snow we so. have, right? And like, snow's die. pretty easy to automate. Yeah, snow we snow. have. I just need to figure out a better way to do that, or we just make another a, uh, snowman spawner, or snowman shoveler outside of our area, because that, 
I can turn that machine on. And I think you already loud, know right? the lag that it's not loud. It, it's actually pretty quiet. It's the gen or the, the update of the block. Ah, well, what if you just? So, so, oh, okay. It, it kills your frame rate a little bit. Yeah, so if you move to some more health, it would be better. Right. Uh, what if? What if you use, like, I don't know how quickly those snowballs get used up, but if you were breaking it, I guess less often. I guess it still probably would be bad. I mean, if we get, like, make sure we have a stack of snow blocks and just stop, we're fine. Right. That, that's probably the right way to go. Do we have mini chests? We do. The, the one stack chest things? Yeah, we do. Yeah. So, like, you could fill up a mini you chest. Could... Yeah, and we could always just make it so... We either have another XNet system pulling from another chest, or put mini chests underneath the generators. That's fine too. Right. The fact that XNet was moving the items was like not my goal of this. It was to send various amounts of energy so I could throttle them. Okay. So. That's cool. Is XNet our best item transfer mechanic at the moment? Uh, it's comparable to IRS right now, but. Right. We also have transfer nodes, which are much faster, I think, in terms of... Well, I can work on lava if you want. That would probably be good, yeah. Because you need lava for two things, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so put I can, in that tank. We're good. I can definitely handle lava for you. Um, so why don't I do this? So what do we have that can transfer either items or fluids across dimensions? So... Items, we can do either Infinity Blocks, which is a new mod, or we could do Refined Storage, which could also be Fluids. But okay. it's up to you if you want to itemize it first and then send it over here, or if you want to just do straight Fluid, you could do RS. Oh, I got you. So our, uh, it would be a lot of RF per tick to set up a Refined Storage thing in the Nether, right? Right, but we're... Keep in mind, this entire setup makes 25 million RF per tick. I understand, but the the setup that we currently have that's powering it is just a furnace gen, which is not producing that much, right? No, no, it's everything's already tied in, so. Okay. So cool. these are all flipped because, like, that's technically working right now. Theoretically. So, when our power system drops, will it automatically turn on? Yes. Or is that a manual? I can't remember that. That lever right now has to turn that system on or off for what you were just saying, for if it detects. I can't remember if it's, if the power goes below 10,000 and the lever's on, or it's below 10,000 the lever's off, it will run. <laughs> okay, cool. The logic behind the XNet system keeps giving me headaches every once in a while. Hey, you know what, it doesn't even matter. The lever doesn't even matter. It's every time it goes below 10,000. Fair enough. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I can work on lava. I want to check out those infinity things. So there's okay. one for uh, each color, I guess. Yeah, so we cool. you can make one or you can steal the one here and I can get the one from the nether because I'm not actually using it. Uh, I'll make it was one just, just because. Okay. I will go crush this. I'm assuming that this will work. Yay. Yeah, I'll try it. So basically, they work like Tesseracts, but for items only? Correct. So I pipe items in, and they, they're like teleport pipes, basically. Yeah, and I don't know if you need the inventory or a pipe in there. So I think it's the inventory on the other side, but the receiving side. OK. But well, I I'll test it a little bit. Yeah. So I'm assuming I'll need two of these dudes, and then... Now, once I... Okay, so I need sand. Okay. Can I crush her, what, gravel? Cobblestone. So in theory, this thing should work. Nice. Yeah, so far we have almost nothing really automated in this place. We just have right. lots of things to automate. Lots of things built, very few things automated. <laughs> nice. So that should be making me glass then. 
Cool. So yeah, I want to check out that Infinity mod, so... That's how I'll do it. What I'll do, my basic plan, is I will put a drum in the nether, I will monitor the fluid amount of the drum, and when it gets full, I'll have it send a redstone signal to a block breaker and pick up the drum and transfer it to the overworld and have it placed. Does that sound easy enough? Sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Whoosh. Oh my, there's a lot of things. So that's infinity white channel. How do you change the channel of them? I guess once they're in world, you can do that. I think so. Or you put it with die. I can't remember what Henry said. Oh, look, owner die will 20. Nice. So you have 16 per player. Neat. Beautiful. All right, so let's get uh, transfer. We're definitely going to want one of those. One of these, one of those, a couple chests that we can test this with. So basically, the thought is we do this, and this should teleport from here to here. So if we put mana tablet in, maybe? Where'd my mana tablet go? Oh, we threw it on the ground at one point. Ah, it does not it. automatically place into an adjacent chest. Okay. Today we so it is like a barrel. Yeah. So you need to pipe it out of there, I guess. I guess it basically yeah. works like like a chest, right? Like it doesn't auto. -activate. Yeah, it's probably like a mini chest or a barrel or something. Like that. Neat. Who made this mod? Because it looks cool. I think it was Henry. Oh, nice. It almost looks like it's part of Ender I.O., so... Neat. Also, there's a little bit of lag going on right now. So, I'm going to probably want the extra utilities breaker. I don't know what's causing that. Yeah, because we're the only two on the server, so somebody did something. Mechanical miner, we're going to want one of those. And mechanical user will be the right player in place. We'll probably want two sets of these. That is probably true. Yeah. And I think I want to do this with XNet, because I think that would be cool. So for fun, we're going to build it like this. It should be pretty straightforward. Um, we want a pump. We're gonna need two of you. Mm -hmm. Order easy. Lava we should have over here. Oh, you bumped that up to a really large drum. <laughs> Do you want me to use that large drum for this? Or I was just gonna use regular size drums. I mean, if you're doing that on the nether side, there's I put the drums in the RS system. I just well, I wanted to send because... it back when it was full, so I was just going to use like normal size drums. That's fine. What about chunk loading? Do we have an option there? We have two different mods to do. That. There's weird and gadgets, and there's also the extra utilities. Okay. So that that I think we. Yeah, it depends on which one you want to set up. Uh, ah, weirding gadgets. So I guess, is there anything special about this? Or I just place it in the world, that's it. I 
Um, yeah, you just place it down. There's a problem. Both of them do a three by three, I think. That's interesting. All right, so it just does a three by three. That's easy enough. Simple, simple. All right, so that, that, that's pretty much all we'll need. So I did get drums at some point, didn't I? So I'm pretty much gonna want two drums. I'll set this side of things up in a minute. Uh, now I was gonna use X snap for the breaking and picking up, right? Probably. So Xnet, we're gonna want a controller on the other side. I don't suppose you've set up any auto crafting yet. No. Gotcha. Oops. Oh, that is right. Okay, cool. So one controller. We're gonna eventually need a second one. And we'll probably want a couple connectors. That should be cool. All right, to the nether we go. Maybe. There we go. So let's set this bad boy up like right over here-ish. There should be plenty of lava for the time being, right? So we'll pop this dude here. We'll give him a bit of power. We'll give him his drum. And we'll give him a redstone signal. He should start pumping now. Nice. Now, do you need a transfer thing or no? You might need a fluid transfer. Yeah, you've got fluid in there, but you're not automatically dumping it into there. I wish you knew exactly what was causing CPS. Yeah, a little bit of the slowdown, right? Mm-hmm. So the other way, obviously, that we could have built this was with, with refined storage, but this will be cool. Alright, so transfer. I'm gonna need a couple of you guys. Probably just one, but. Mm. So here's what we'll do uh, we'll have this transfer node here. Filling this up. In theory, arg. He's getting a redstone signal from this. This might work. Okay. Maybe. I'm going to break this for a sec. I want to see if you're getting the redstone signal to fill it. All right, that's super annoying. What do we have that can transfer fluids, I guess? Uh, I could use XNet. That should actually work. There's also transfer nodes. Uh, so the ranged pump needs a redstone signal to run, and if the transfer node's on the ranged pump, it transfers the redstone signal to the transfer node and Put stops running. the lever on the ground next to the ranged pump, and it'll work. Yeah. Yep. I've done that before, and I was like, why is this not working? Oh, hey! Hmm. Give it a shot. That's yeah, actually that works. Work. I could just use Xnet because I'm going to be doing Xnet down here anyway, but. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay, cool. 
So now for the rest of the setup, I don't know why I only have a few pieces of dirt down here, but. So we'll have an XNet controller. You should be getting power, maybe? Yeah, you are, nice, okay. Uh, we'll have our connectors. Cool. And then what we're probably gonna wanna have is a user and a miner. Yes, but I want you to only run on a pulse. Eh, you might be a little too close to this. So I'm gonna put the miner here. User, miner. You're gonna run on a pulse, and the user is going to always run, and it will be place block. Cool. So you'll run on a pulse. Eh, I don't love how this looks. So you know what? I'm actually gonna swap it again. I just hope that you can be served one block away. Are you? Yes, beautiful. That's what I want. So we'll connect our you. So now we've got these three. And then we'll use her over here. Was that? Okay. Miner here. User here. All the derps. Cool. And the miner set for pulse mode. And basically what we'll do is we'll set up on channel one will be a sensor. On you. So we're gonna say fluid is greater than 200,000 output white. Cool. And then on this guy, we're going to create a logic that says output only when white, a redstone signal of 15. Cool. So what that should do is, if it's over that, so we'll test this by just bumping this down to 20,000 and see how it broke it. Nice. So what I'll do is I'll make it like 35,000. Ah, right. We'll do zero for now. So if I make the sensor like 35,000, right, I should make it 40. I'll make it 45. Cool. So then you should be good. So once it hits 45,000, it should break it, right? And then what I'll do is I'll have it transfer into the infinity block to send this guy back. Um, that should be cool. And then I'm going to have the infinity block here. We're going to, I might have to filter this to be like an empty drum versus a not empty drum, but we'll figure that out. We'll see. I'm assume. well, actually I'm curious of something. If I set this and this so it broke it it picked it up it put it in here did it get pulled out here it did okay that's fair um that's fair i'm probably going to want to filter you then i'm also Uh, is there a wrench? 
There's quite a few. Which one do you want? Uh, whichever one will work on the transfer pipes from XGTils. Yeah, there's a wrench from XGTils. Cool. What's it called? Wrench. Ah, there it is. It's the last one. Okay. So I'll play with that in a minute. But we're going to need to filter this on an empty drum, basically. There is one sitting in the system when you come back. Sweet. All right, we're back. So we have the wrench. Yeah, that's what I want. Cool. So then if we put like this in here, it should place it. And then break it, and then place it, and then break it, and then place it. And that's obviously not what we want, because what we want to do is we want to filter this dude to be whitelist. Empty drum. Why is there milk in this drum? Why is there milk? I need this to be an empty drum. Can I place milk in the world? Nope. Back in a minute, I have to empty this. That's, that's good, because neither one of us did anything. <laughs> nope. Alright, so that's an empty drum now. Match MBT, match metadata. So in theory, if I put this filter in here, now it should only pull out empty drums. Cool. That looks good. So the last step here is to chunk load this area. Which, hopefully, Soren is right that it's a three by three area. Cool. So if we come up here now, All right, uh, so you want to see what I'm building? It's super complex and fun. Sure. Yeah, dump some items off and I'll be there in 20 seconds. Okay. So I'm thinking we'll do mechanical miner here. Do a mechanical user here. Maybe I was wrong. I thought you were next to the portal. What's that? Where are you in the nether? Oh, I'm not in the nether. I'm in the overworld by where your lava drum was. Oh, oh, oh okay. That's why I can't find you. Got it. Yeah. I am going to have to measure. Mm. Mm. How, much, how, much, how much of your... Uh... You're using like all your. No, you're not using all your channels. I can use your XNet. Now. Yeah. That's cool. That worked. So, what I'm going to do is make this. We're going to set the miner to pulse. We're going to set you to place block mm. right click. And if you're the user, I'm gonna swap these then. So that the user is underneath. And the miner is behind. Cool. And then we'll use a connector here. We'll call it Lava Drum. And a connector here on the miner called Miner. And we'll say Logic Channel 4, Sensor. Fluid equals zero white. Uh, you now, just turned on the system. What'd you do? I didn't do anything. Are we using power? Uh, I don't know. Is it off now? 
Oh, you turn. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, don't use. Don't use white. Okay. <laughs> I'll use yellow. Oh. Everything okay? okay I'm death, death debuff. Yeah, we're good. I was just saying I'm death debuff. I was like, no. We go to sleep before we both die. Nice, that worked. So you remember the days when I used Steve's factory manager and anytime I looked at it, it would just not do what I wanted to do, but when you looked at it, it started working? Yes. Okay, so XNet is the same thing for me. Yeah. So when the system came on, you said you did nothing. I was very concerned I had broke the engine. Nice. <laughs> Don't do that to me. Fair enough, sir. <laughs> so this is the miner. So we're actually pulling out of there. Bear with me a moment. So that, that, I'm gonna do that. And then that. And then you're gonna pull out of the user. So you should have my iron drum. What I'm gonna do is set up a filter on this to make it blacklist a empty one. Cool, so now empty shouldn't be allowed to come out of there. So in theory, this should be good now. So what I'm gonna do is, so check this out. When there is an empty drum there, Mm -hmm. It'll sense it, it'll send a signal to the breaker, and it'll send it to the, um, whatchamacallit? The, the nether to get filled up. And in theory, there should be right. one of the nether being filled up now. And then, when it's full, it'll place it in the user, and the user should do that. How cool is that? You can place it down. Nice. And it won't uh, break it until it's empty. So there should be one in the nether getting filled up, and it'll fill up to about 45 buckets worth is what I set it to. But you can set it to whatever. And that should be it. In theory. I do not like all these vines in the nether, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, not really. Yeah, that's what's up. Return to sender. <laughs> I'm on fire, but that's okay. Oh yeah, look, there's a drum down here getting filled up. Perfect. And if you really wanted to, you could put some speed upgrades in the thing down here to speed up the rate at which it, but I don't think that's necessary. So I'm gonna set it to 20K right now. Well, it broke it, but that's okay. So there should be one in the user underneath the lava drum back home. There should be. Yep. Right. Cool. It's and it has 14,000. Yeah. So I just set it to 20,000. So what'll happen is when that when the drum that's there now gets emptied, mm -hmm. the one that's in the user will be placed, and the empty one will be sent back. Get about 20 buckets of lava and send it back home for us. Is that cool? So it's. A, you might as well just fill it up all the way. Yeah. Yeah, you could. I was just, you know, you can make it whatever value you want. It's all good. Okay. So yeah, that should be a thing. So creative way to transfer items between dimensions for sure. But I have to wrap up now because <laughs> yeah. it's well past the wrapping up point for me. So Devil20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.